My name is Skymic, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you this massive bundle of Skylanders that I got for absolutely free. So recently, my friend decided that he wanted to get rid of his Skylanders, and he was going to give them to a charity shop, but then he remembered that I liked Skylanders and decided to give them to me. So I've got a lot here, mostly from Spyro's Adventure, Giants, and Swap Force, but there's a good few here, and a few hidden gems that I'm quite happy about, so I'm going to be talking about them in this video. I'm going to start off from Spire's Adventure, and without further ado, let's get started. So this is in no particular order, this is just me grabbing them and showing you them. So let's say the first one up is Boomer. He has a Boomer figure, really excited. I do have Boomer, so I just got a double of him now, maybe for a future custom we could use Boomer. Let me know in the comment section below if you want to see that. Next up we have Sonic Boom, Series 1. I don't have Sonic Boom, so I'm so happy, she's a really cool Skylander. Happy that I got her. Next up is Eruptor. I used to have an Eruptor, but me being my stupid self a few years ago sold him for like £2.50, a couple of dollars, whatever. And so yeah, I'm a bit upset about that, but you know, at least I got an Eruptor now. This is Series 1 Drill Sergeant, and so yeah. It's nice, haven't got him, I've got Series 2, not Series 1. We have Series 1 Chop Chop, I do have Series 1 Chop Chop. I have Series 1 Dino Rank here, I've already got Series 1 Dino Rank. By the way, all of these doubles I'm going to use um, so I can do separate paths, and um, maybe use customs. Here's one I haven't got, Series 1 Lightning Rod. Um, he's a very, very cool looking Skylander, he's very fun to use. We have Series 1 Zap, one of my favourite Skylanders from the original game is Zap, so that's nice to see. I've got Series 1 Spyro. I have Spyro, but he, his base is broken, so I haven't been able to play with him for about 8 years. So at least I can play as Spyro now, which is pretty fun, I guess. He has Voodoo. I've never actually seen much gameplay of Voodoo, so it'll be interesting to see what he's like. Um, I'm very happy I got him. We have Series 1 Whirlwind with a broken wing, but I do have her wing. For all of the Skylanders here that are missing pieces, I have the wing. I've got, I've got like the part that's missing, so I'm just going to glue them all in. And I'm pretty experienced with glue because of my customs, so I'll be able to do that. Yeah, Series 1 Whirlwind. I got Series 1 Trigger Happy. I'm going to use him on my Jailbreaker custom, most likely. So, I'm not sure though, probably. I have Series 1 Stealth Elf. Don't really like Stealth Elf, but she adds to the collection, which is nice. I have Series 1 Double Trouble, one of my favorite characters. So, I'm really, really happy that I have Series 1 Double Trouble. I can't wait to level him up fully. Series 1 Wrecking Ball, the man himself. I'm looking forward to playing as him. I have Series 2, and I don't have Series 1 though, so I'm looking forward to getting him to max level. I've got a Gilgrunt with a broken harpoon at the front. This is the only one that I ha don't have the pace for. I'm pretty sure I don't, which is sad, but he's only Gilgrunt, so it's okay. I have Series 1 Drobot, missing a wing. I've got the wing, so it's okay. Haven't actually played this Drobot before, so it's going to be fun to use him. And last but not least, one I'm very excited for, Series 1 Flameslinger. He's one of the more sought-after Series 1s, so I'm happy that I got him, and I'm happy that my friend gave him to me. So yeah, that's good to see. Okay, so now that we're done with Series 1, we're going to move on to Series 2, starting off with Tree Rex. I don't have Tree Rex, believe it or not, so it's good to have him added to my collection. He's a very powerful Skylander, and I can't wait to use him. We have Hot Dog, missing his tail, but that's okay, I've got the part and I'll be able to put him together. Hot Dog's really fun, I've already got him, but I can use him for the second path, so that's good. We have Hot Head, one of my favorite giants, he's very, very fun to use. It's pretty fast for a giant because of his motorcycle, so that's really cool that I have him. We have Light Core Prism Break. I don't actually have Light Core Prism Break. I don't have any Light Cores, he's my first one. So yeah, it's cool that we got Light Core Prism Break. Can't wait to use him in game. I haven't actually used a Light Core as I said, so it'll be fun to see. We have Eyebrawl. Um, Eyebrawl is a pretty fun giant, not my personal favorite, but he's very fun to use and I love his design. He's got a very strong, very strong Skylander. Next up is Crusher. I don't actually have Crusher. I have Granite Crusher. As you can see, has his base broken off, but he's working fine. I, I tested him. So a bit of hot glue should fix his base fully, and he'll be perfect. And last up from Giants is a giant I've never used, but a lot of people seem to dislike, including Crash the Skylands, Ninjini. Um, she's pretty, she's pretty nice. I'm pretty sure she's like the tallest giant, I think. Tall for a giant, so it's, she's a nice, big, strong character. Can't wait to use her, level her up fully. So yeah, that is all the Skylanders from Giants. 
Next up is Swap Force, and starting with the least impressive is Ninja Stealth Elf. Obviously, everyone's got her if you have Swap Force and got her on the starter pack. She's okay, not my personal favorite, but nothing really to write home about. And more impressive than Ninja Stealth Elf, in my op opinion, the bottom half of Wash Buckler. I know, yeah, I would rather use nothing than use Ninja Stealth Elf. Stealth Elf is probably my least favorite Skylander. But it's good that I've got a second base for him so I can use the second path. Blast zone, you know, just a regular blast zone, nothing interesting to see. Now this is where things start to get interesting. I have another swapper. By the way, I don't have any other swappers besides the starter pack ones until I got this bundle. So here is Rubble Arouser. He's very fun to use um, from what I've seen. Another one, Crash the Skylands, doesn't love entirely, but he still likes him a decent bit. So I love Rubble Arouser. I think his design is nice. Next up is Stink Bomb. He's pretty cool, obviously, with all of these Skylanders. He is a swapper, and you can swap his base with other ones, but I don't know if that doesn't really make sense for using Wash Buckle's bottom, but I can't wait to get him fully leveled up as well. And probably the most impressive of all of the swappers, and possibly of all the Skylanders that I got, Doomstone. Probably the best swapper in the game, and it's by a good bit. He's very, very powerful, very, very well-rounded, very strong, and mixed with other swappers, he's very, very useful. So that is all of my Swap Force characters. Now we're moving on to Trap Team. Okay, so but there aren't many Trap Masters or any figures. We'll start off with the least impressive. Again, we've got um, the Tiki Water Tiki Trap. Everyone's got this if you have Trap Team. Not very impressive, but it's good to have another Water Trap just in case. I have... Lobstar missing an arm. I do have his arm, so I'll be gluing that back on. I already have Lobstar, but he's gonna be nice because I want to see what his second path is like, so that's good. Next, we have Food Fight. Love Food Fight, very good to have him. Obviously, everyone's got Food Fight, but you know, I do with another one. Next, we have Snapshot, and the funny thing is, his part of the Snapshot is broken, is the opposite part of this my part of Snapshot that's broken, so I might actually be able to combine them and make one full Snapshot. We'll see about that maybe as a future video and um, probably my favorite of all, one of my favorites of everything that i got one of my favorite trap masters probably everyone's favorite trap master wallop i am so happy that i got wallop on this bundle wallop is super super fun to use so i just want to say thank you to the person who gave me the bundle because wallop is one of my favorite skylanders and um, yeah and now we're going to move on to superchargers there is only one thing in superchargers and i'll bring it out now and the one superchargers thing that i have is Smash Hits Car. What an interest. They don't even have any figures. I don't even know if they had the Superchargers pack, if they bought it. But, you know, we've got, we've got this figure. At least I have a variation. An Earth car, I suppose. An Earth vehicle. I haven't got one. I only have light, water, um, fire, and now Earth. So that's good that I've got him. Okay guys, so here are some things that I forgot to mention or forgot to use because I actually got them earlier. And um, there's a couple of Skylanders and an adventure pack. So first up we have Series 1 Zook. His hand was bitten off by some sort of animal. I don't even know what this thing was bitten off by. Zook is one of my favorite Skylanders. He's a very, very strong, powerful Skylander. And very good um, defensive wise and very good in PvP. So I'm very interested to getting him leveled up. Probably going to go through the cactus path, the cactus barriers. Um, next we have an Earth Series 1 Skylander. Crash the Skylands personal favourite Skylander. Yep, it's Bash. Bash is pretty cool. Um, he's a very strong Skylander. Let me know which path is actually best for Bash. Because I don't, I'm not sure which one I should take. But I can't wait to get him levelled up fully. Next we have Series 1 Stump Smash. Fun Skylander, not my personal favourite of the life element, that would have to go to Zook in Series 1, but he's still very fun to use and I can't wait to get him fully leveled up. Final single Skylander is probably my favourite giant in Giants, Thumpback. I think Thumpback is the best designed one, and he's definitely the most fun to use in my opinion with his chomp abilities. Um, his arm is loose and I might have to fix that, but it, it fits right on perfectly, so I'll have to glue that in, or maybe use him in a custom, I'm not sure. So yeah, that is Thumpback. And the final thing we have is actually an adventure pack. 
my first ever adventure pack, which is the Pirate Seas Adventure Pack, which comes with the Pirate Seas level, Tarifin of course, the Dragon Treasure Chest, and the Double Swords. So these are basically just little magic items that you can use. This is just an extra level, a whole extra level, which is really cool. And this is just obviously Terrafin, the Shark Earth Skylander. So yeah, that's all that I got. That is definitely everything now. I just forgot about these guys. And yeah, okay, now on to the winner of the name contest. And the winner of the name contest goes to Crypt Crusher for Extreme Bushwhack. His name and comment will be up here on the screen. So thank you once again to him. I really, really appreciate it. And yeah, so this is Extreme Bushwhack. He's gonna go, go next to Cast Iron Jawbreaker up on my shelf. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. It was a bit of a different video. Um, a little bit different. I just decided to show you guys the bundle of Skylanders that I got for free. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember to stay safe and keep playing Skylanders.